Ryan, you know you got skill when you can handle one of these where these people have to handle one of these. Here's a small flatbed truck and here's a really big one. Notice where the oil's kept. Coming, walking from the Orsan Michel past the Duomo, I thought I would take a route that would get me lost into an area I'd not been in before. I ended up precisely in an area that I had been before. That was in fact a side street. This one right here I took as a side street. That's what I ended up finding myself on. So now I know exactly where I am. Now I have to keep looking for a place I don't know I'm, where I'm at. As they say when you're walking around Florence you orientate yourself off the, the sites. The major edifice is like I think the Duomo which is what that is. don't know what this place is, but it certainly is pretty. It has its own guard dog. Although somebody apparently got at it first since its face has been knocked off. There we can see deeper into this. Whatever it is. Something old. That may even be tile work up there in, the, in that courtyard. Here's some elegant little sculptures. That tree's base gives some sense of time. A couple other curious sculptures. This must have been a palazzo. Perhaps still is. Looks like a neighborhood church with its interesting little buttress there. These must be part of the gardens I was looking at earlier with the little statues in it. I'm wondering if that building is perhaps a greenhouse or something like that. Just a little farther on, some greenhouses. They're a pretty building, don't know if it's old or not. It says Gonzaga in Florence. I don't know if that's intentionally English and whether it might refer to an offshoot of Gonzaga University. It may be stretching it, except that Florence historically and now is a center for many different schools. To answer that question, this is what we've been looking at. An interesting old tree. I don't know what kind it is. It may be an elm, but I... University and study. Botanical, geology, paleontology, mineralogy, and lithology as the study of stone. In Eureka Shazam, I have come back to San Marco, which is very close to my hostel. day in Florence. Most days are cloudy, even if there is a little bit of sun. What this apparently is is not a uh, strike, but just a celebration of Farmer's Day. But it looks to my left as though there's somebody with a sign. I'm not sure if they're in support or not, but everybody's silent, so it looks like it's all a good thing.
This is the outside of the uh, <coughs> Mercado Central, right next to uh, almost permanent uh, tourist trap, if you will. This looks rather new though, I mean relatively to the centuries. I'm now inside the Central Mercado in Florence. The same concept as down in South America, but um, dramatically cleaner, less frenetic. But the same kind of concept, which is great. This is where the average housewife will do all her shopping, or a good part of it. Unless she needs something really elegant, which you can still probably find it here. Lots of cheese and so forth. This is apparently the floor that has most of the vegetables and fruits, but let's take a look at the inside of this elegant building. Oh, some pictures during one of the big floods. Very Victorian it looks like. What's interesting is this superstructure, it almost looks like it was introduced later, and maybe it was. Let's go look around a little bit. These look like shavings and mushrooms. I don't think they must be. Everything here is nice and neatly done, but it doesn't look like it like came from a close farm, although it might have. Oh, olive oil. Dried fruits. That looks neat. Own some nuts, cashews. It's relatively quiet here too, unlike South America where be, this would be absolutely jammed and the fruit would be piled much higher and deeper. Oh, lots of dried fruit. <coughs> pineapple? Huh? Pineapple? Yeah, yeah, pineapple. Here are all kinds of beans. Oh, all kinds of dried fruit. <coughs> That looks like uh, uh, pears, mango, uh, peaches. Yeah. Yeah, that looks neat. You can pretty tell much tell from the labels what they are for tostada. It sounds like toast. In other words, those are roasted ones in there. Crudy means uh, a raw. They have just bought some uh, raw cashews, some pistachios without the nuts, and some dried peaches to take with me to the hill towns of Volterra and San Gimignano that I'll go to tomorrow. Ah.
I imagine here I can find some. Ah, there it is. Right there. Achete balsamic. Uh, balsamic. See? Crema e aceto balsamic. <laughs> These typical tourist junk. Dominated by black men, probably from Sen places like Senegal and Africa. For some reason, they're also peddling this stuff um, along the river near some of the major sites like Ufizi and the Ponte Vecchia. You probably break pretty good deals on stuff if you recognize the value. This is definitely a tourist trap, but in Mexico, along the main drag that looks like this, are blocks on the main drag, both sides packed with shops that sell absolutely everything, and you don't see very many tourists there. That's San Lorenzo that I was just inside of. My guess is that red dome is the dome of the chapel of the Medici. And that dome right there is perhaps uh, the new Sacristi, Michelangelo's. And just behind it you can see poking over the uh, Giotto's Tower. Here I think the choices are not only natural, but probably pretty classy to the knowledgeable cook like Judy. Shop full of colorful pastas. Huh. Some spices maybe? Dried fruit, Probably some of that balsamic vinegar, cheta balsamic. This is ribolita that I got at this little stand in the um, Mercado Central. I had to ask a girl who was speaking English who was eating it what it was so I could tell the guy because I couldn't see where it was coming from. This is the one other side of San Lorenzo. Theoretically, this should be the West End.